It's been a most unique summer in 2020, and we're all hoping that football brings things back to normal. The Northeast Conference is ready to go, and we're here to break it all down on NEC Virtual Football Media Day. Hi again, everybody. Paul Dottino with you again, and it's another terrific season of NEC football that's upon us. Over the course of today's program, we will review what we expect in year number 25 of conference play. We will spend a few minutes with each of our head football coaches, as well as a number of our student athletes. But first, we're going to kick things off with the coaches' preseason poll. And let's take a look. The defending champion, Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, they are a unanimous selection to repeat and capture an automatic NCAA playoff bid. Blue Devils have won at least a share of six conference championships. The Duke Dukes have a part of five conference championship seasons. Sacred Heart has grabbed at least a share of four titles, and St. Francis won in 2016. These three teams from two to four were only separated by one point in the preseason coaches poll. Then the coaches picked Wagner, Bryant, and LIU to round things out. Now let's move on to the All-NEC preseason team. We'll start with the offense, and there is a lot to be excited about. St. Francis quarterback Jason Brown is coming off of a big campaign in which he became the first sophomore in NEC history to pass for more than 3,000 yards in a season. He also pulled for a season record 28 touchdowns with only six interceptions. Sacred Heart running back Julius Chestnut led the FCS with a school record 293 carries last year, and that helped him fit his second in the nation with nearly 1,500 yards rushing. He also churned out 11 scores. And Central Connecticut State wide receiver Tyshawn James paced the NEC with 14 total touchdowns. He caught 48 passes for nearly 1,000 yards. Now let's take a look at the defense. Merrimack pass rusher Corey Hagerman shared the NEC lead with nine and a half sacks last year. He tied a program record with four in one game against LIU. Wagner linebacker Titus Leo has prototype measurables off the edge at six foot four and 230 pounds. He collected 41 tackles over the final five games of last season. And Duquesne safety Spencer DeMetal has a nose for the ball. He was in on 62 tackles and was an FCS Robinson Scholar Athlete Award finalist. And finally, you can expect more big plays on special teams from the likes of Bryant defensive back Andre Brackett. Now last season, he averaged more than 31 yards per kickoff return, highlighted by a 95-yard touchdown against LIU. So those are some of the players that you'll be watching as the NEC finally kicks things off for 2020. The Bulldogs are fired up, and we will hear from Bryant when today's preview show continues right after this timeout. 